Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 54 of 2019 regarding appointing the Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as National Security Advisor, who will report to the Supreme Defense Council and assume the duty of supervision over the policies and strategies of the national security of the Kingdom of Bahrain in order to preserve the internal and external interests in coordination with the relevant bodies in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Subah, on his safe return to Kuwait after undergoing successful medical checkups. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the Emir of Kuwait abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al, al Mubarak. Barak Al Subah on the occasion. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized the conclusion ceremony of the Khalid bin Hamad Youth Theatre Award for Youth Centers, National Clubs and People with Disabilities that was held in Muharraq Model Center in the presence of Minister of Youth and Sports Ayman Al Muayyad and senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the talents of the youth in the theater field and hailed the noble messages presented through their performances that will help to achieve further progress in the Bahraini theatre. He affirmed the important role of the youth in the kingdom and affirmed that focusing on the youth element goes in line with the vision of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as with the national program Istijaba. His Highness affirmed the importance of theatre in creating a number of artists, in addition to discussing a number of important topics and issues. His Highness added that the fifth edition of the award was able to achieve its desired goals, especially by allowing Bahraini youth to showcase their talents and creativity and give them the opportunity to present this artistic initiative. The award also honoured the late pioneer actors in appreciation of their roles in enhancing the theatre movement in the kingdom, including Muhammad Awad first prize, Ibrahim Bahar second prize, and Muhammad Al Budi uh, third prize. His Highness then praised the performances presented in the event that held noble meanings and content. He praised the contributions of the Minister of Youth and Sports in ensuring the success of the award, in addition to the important role that the organizing committees played.
The fifth edition of the Khaled bin Hamad Theatre Festival for national clubs, youth centres and people with disability roll down its curtains as the festival comes to an end. The festival, which is held annually, fulfilled its aim to empower and support Bahraini talents in the fields of arts and culture, driving the talented Bahraini youth to strive to prosper in their future artistic life. This festival has been started uh, based on the orders of, uh, and the vision, to be honest, of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Um, the idea behind it is to spark interest in culture, to spark interest in theater by, uh, within the segment, within the youth segment, and to try to shed light um, on the capabilities that we have in Bahrain and the talent that we have in Bahrain. Um, the good thing about this is that this year we've struck deals with a number of production companies, we've struck deals with a number uh, of ministries so that they can use the new talents that, that we've found, uh, we've scouted, um, in the cultural and theatrical uh, segments um, for use in, in future productions. So hopefully, uh, one day, you never know, I mean, we'll, we'll see these um, kids as, as, uh, and, and youths uh, as stars in other segments. Uh, this year, uh, the, the, uh, the, we named uh, the prizes with one of our uh, uh, lost uh, famous uh, actors in the, uh, in the kingdom who were the base of the Bahraini theater. So that's what makes it a bit different. The annual festival, which attracted 25 teams of local clubs and youth centers, and over 300 Bahraini talents of both genders and people with disabilities, presented a commendable number of Bahraini talents in the field of theater, who would represent the Bahraini arts and cultural movement, both regionally and internationally. This prize and this uh, festival, it means a lot to us as an actresses and actors, you know. And uh, I would love to say a thank you to the Ministry and the Minister of Youth and Sport and to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for his uh, support. This is my third time actually participating in such event. It's very lovely. We see many people joining every year and we get many opportunities each year. Anyone with any type of talent, dancing, singing, acting, you can join this event. Whether you're old, young, very young or very old, there are no limits in this event. The participating teams and notable personalities in the Bahraini art and cultural movement were honored during the annual ceremony, which continues to promote the kingdom's status as a pioneer in boosting the role of the Bahraini youth and tapping their creative potential. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Interparliamentary Union selected the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzia Zainal, to chair the general session under the theme Enhancing the Parliamentary Role in International Law. That is held currently in Serbia, part of the 141st Interparliamentary Union meeting. This selection came as a result of Bahrain's tremendous achievements along the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as an appreciation of the Bahraini parliamentary role and this selection election reflects a new achievement for Bahraini women. The participating delegations praised the role of the Bahraini parliamentary delegation and hailed the efforts of the speaker in chairing the session and holding a number of discussions regarding a number of proposals and initiatives that will be included in the agendas of the next sessions of the Interparliamentary Union meeting. After that, the Bahraini parliamentary delegation concluded its meetings at the 141st interparliamentary meeting held in Serbia, led by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi Yazainal. In the concluding session, member Jamila Salman was elected as the representative of the Arab group in respecting of International Humanitarian Law Committee, which is considered a great achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain. This session included the approval of parliamentary human rights reports and specialized committee meetings reports. 
The parliamentary delegation led by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fosia Zainal, participated in the Inter-Parliamentary Union meeting held in Serbia and affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's support of legitimacy in Yemen and its rejection of foreign interference and the importance of abiding by Security Council and UN resolutions. A number of Arab and foreign delegations also supported Bahrain's position, most notably the delegation of Saudi Arabia, Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, Jordan and others. Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the 36th meeting the DCC Interior Ministers held yesterday in Oman. The minister delivered the following speech. يطيب لي في مستهل هذا اللقاء أن أتوجه بالشكر لمعالي السيد حمود بن فيصل بسعيدي وزير الداخلية سلطنة عمان الشقيقة على استضافة هذا الاجتماع وعلى حسن الاستقبال وكرم الضياف كما يسرني توجيه الشكر لمعالي الدكتور عبد اللطيف بن راشد الزياني الأمين العام لمجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية وإلى الأمان العامة على حسن الإعداد والمتابعة لعقد هذا الاجتماع أصحاب السمو والمعالي إن مملكة البحرين كما هي دوما ملتزمة بأداء رسالتها الأمنية النبيلة وتسعى للارتقاء إلى طموحات وتطلعات قادة دول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية لدفع مسيرة التعاون الخليجي نحو آفاق جديدة لتحقيق الرفاه لشعوب بلداننا واستقرار الأمن في أوطاننا كما يسعدني في الوقت نفسه أن أشيد بما اتخذها أصحاب السمو والمعالي وزراء الداخلية لدول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية من قرارات وما قاموا به من جهود وما قدموه من مقترحات ساهمت في النهوض مسيرة العمل الأمني الخليجي المشترك أصحاب السمو والمعالي لقد تمكنت دولنا من احتلال مكانتها المرموقة بين دول العالم وذلك في ظل سياسة الاستقرار الحكيمة والوازنة لقادة دول مجلس التعاون لدول الخليج العربية وما أنعم الله علينا من مقومات عديدة وثروات حضارية وإنسانية واقتصادية وهي مرتكزات ساهمت في استقرار المنطقة وتوفير البيئة الاقتصادية والصناعية التي تتمتع بها دولنا ولكن لا يخفى عليكم أيها الأخوة بأن التحديات الأمنية التي فرضت نفسها على الساحة الأمنية كثير ومنها التحديات الناتجة من سوء استغلال التقنيات والأسلحة الحديثة مثل الصواريخ البالستية والطائرات والغواصات الموجهة وكذلك الهجمات السبرانية ناهيك عن الإشاعات المضللة والإعلام الموجه الذي يستهدف زعزعة الأمن والاستقرار في دولنا أصحاب السمو والمعالي إن الأمر ولا شك يتطلب منا مراجعة أولوياتنا الأمنية لتقوية متانة المظلة الأمنية الشاملة وما يترتب على ذلك من تطوير للأجهزة والمنظومات الأمنية للعمل بالسرعة والكفاءة الأمنية اللازمة وهذا يقودنا إلى أنه إذا أردنا تحقيق الأمن والاستقرار المنشودين علينا أن نقدر بكل وعي حجم التحديات وأنواعها وطبيعتها حتى نستطيع أن نوجهها بكل عزيمة واقتدار أصحاب السمو والمعالي السادة الحضور أتمنى لاجتماعنا هذا التوفيق والسداد لإنجاح مسيرتنا الأمنية وتهيئة الأسباب للنهوض بمجتمعاتنا وتوفير متطلبات التقدم والرخاء في دولنا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
Their Highnesses and Excellencies, the GCC Ministers of Interior, hailed the support and care the joint security work receives from their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC, that aim for enhancing cooperation and integration among the GCC countries in the security field, expressing their strong condemnation of the sinful attack on oil installations in Bukiq and Hijrat al-Khris in Saudi Arabia. The Minister of Interior met with the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, where Sheikh Rashid hailed the deep rooted and historic relations between the two countries. During the meeting, the two sides discussed a number of security topics of common interest on bolstering cooperation and coordination and enhancing the march of security cooperation to improve performance and face regional and international challenges. The delegation accompanying the Minister included the Bahraini ambassador to Oman, Dr. Jum'a bin Ahmed Al-Kaabi, and a number of officials and officers. The member of the Council of Muslim Elders of Lebanon, Ali Al-Amin, met with the Minister of Education, Majid al nuaimi at a conference on Zakat and Development in Bahrain, where the minister showed Al-Amin the details of the project to establish the Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid for Islamic Studies College. The minister thanked Al-Amin for agreeing to join the college's board and praised Al-Amin's contributions in the service of Islamic faith. Al-Amin praised the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to establish the college and affirmed that the college represents a pioneering step on Arab and Islamic levels as it emphasizes spreading the common Islamic principles of coexistence, tolerance and unity. The minister also met with Vice President of Al-Azhar University of Egypt, Mohammed Abu Zaid, who also praised the establishment of the college and Bahrain's policy of openness, tolerance and coexistence under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The minister, for his part, praised the special place that Al-Azhar occupies in the Islamic world. The minister then explained to his guests the efforts of his ministry to re reinforce the principles of tolerance and coexistence especially through the cooperation efforts between the religious and Jafari institutes and explained the functions of Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid for Islamic Studies College to enforce His Majesty's directives. The Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the LMRA, Jamil Humaydan, led the Bahraini delegation in the fourth ministerial consultative meeting for Asian countries for sending and receiving of labor in the Abu Dhabi Dialogue 5, which is held in Dubai, UAE. The meeting aims to develop the cooperation among the participating countries and discuss the human capital movements in the region. The minister affirmed the kingdom's support to Asian and Gulf joint efforts to enhance relations and maintain the rights and duties of labors of both parties in accordance with the laws and regulations. He pointed out the importance of the meeting in activating the policies and tools to face any negative practices that may harm the positive relations in the work environment. Hamaidan also participated in the coordination meeting of the Labour Ministers of the GCC and held a series of meetings and discussions with the ministers, the GCC delegations, the participating agent delegations. 
the Minister of Information Affairs Ali bin Mohammed Al Rumehi delivered a lecture on his leadership experience in the public sector for the members of the leadership program run by Bahrain Institute of Public Administration as part of the national program for developing government leaders. Al Rumehi affirmed that every government employee is a leader who is responsible for the development of the government work system through his keenness on achieving the goals of his strategic and operational institution. The minister stated that developing the level of performance in any public or private institution requires providing an encouraging atmosphere for employees to contribute to productivity and achieve developmental aspirations. He added that he was keen on preparing a media strategy that is in accordance with the aspirations of citizens. He also added that such gatherings between scientific and professional sides can create unified governmental communities that bring together national leaders from various public sector institutions. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hal Al Ansari, attended the events that have been organized as part of the Practical Hackathon for Bahraini Women, which is organized by the Supreme Council in cooperation with Bahrain Polytechnic and Brink Batelco under the slogan Compete and Innovate. The event takes place as part of the Bahraini Women's Day, which is dedicated this year to the role of women in higher education. Al Ansari met with each of the participating teams and listened to detailed explanations of their objectives and their execution strategies. Al Ansari discussed a number of projects with their organizers, including those that work in the medical, education and environmental fields. She expressed admiration of the standards of the participating projects in the hackathon, the variety of backgrounds from which the participants come and the technology in use. The hackathon will continue at Bahrain Polytechnic for three days, where 60 participants compete through 12 teams in total. The Director General of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hala bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, represented Baka President Sheikh May bin Mohammed Al Khalifa in the second joint meeting of the Arab Ministers of Tourism and Culture that was held in Tunisia on the occasion of Tunis selection as the capital of Islamic culture and antiquities in 2019. The meeting discussed a number of topics of common interest. In light of the resolution number 50 issued by the Arab Development, Economic and Social Summit in its fourth session last January, which included the approval of the initiative of integration between tourism and cultural heritage in the Arab countries, proposed by the Commission of Tourism and National Heritage in Saudi Arabia. The ministers reviewed the conclusions and recommendations of the working group to follow up on the implementation of the initiative of integration between tourism and cultural heritage in Arab countries, digitize tourism heritage through modern digital means and provide assistance and support to emerging institutions to innovate in this field.